Well, we heard from Burrell once over the going into the Memorial Day weekend. Now we're going to get a chance to hear from Burrell again as it exits out over us, bringing us some much-needed rain, but maybe a little bit too good, too fast here. This is what we are tracking. Uh, scattered storms are going to be around the area for the day today, not associated with Burrell per se. It's going to be the flow around to bringing this rich tropical moisture our way. Now, Burrell will exit the area as we go on through the day tomorrow. It is going to bring some heavy downpours, and potentially some gusty winds, especially along the coastal sections as we go through the day tomorrow. And then we'll be looking for a cooler weekend coming our way as the storm system that's going to be kicking Burrell out of here does come in the east here as we head on in through the second half of our week. Here's the threat tracker for the day today. Scattered storms around, but none of which should be all that strong. It's the ones tomorrow that we do need to watch out about. It is going to be the potential for maybe an isolated tornado or two with the storm. But again, it's going to be the heavy, excessive rainfall. Uh, four, six, eight inches of rainfall coming down in a 12-hour period. Too much of a good thing too fast. The water just the ground won't be able to handle it. Also, some gusty winds along the coastal sections for tomorrow. With this being a warm core system, not so much worried about any hail threats. And then we do continue to watch uh, hot conditions, but still humid, but not stormy in here as we head in through the day on Thursday. Storm Truck 12 forecast for the day today. Warm and humid with scattered storms around inland spots, mid to upper 80s maybe with some of the sunshine peeking through this afternoon. We'll see some tropical downpours develop after about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. We do have a flood watch that goes in effect from 4 o'clock tomorrow morning until the afternoon hours tomorrow with the heavy rain bands rotating through. And this is going to be very reminiscent of what you normally see with a tropical system as it's working its way eastbound over us. In fact, it may even intensify a little bit as it comes eastbound here. Now, this is what we're dealing with as far as where it is located right now, down over Georgia. Notice the banding spiral with this and pulling the moisture in across the southern end of it. But we will continue to watch this move off to the north and the east here. Exiting between Myrtle Beach and Wilmington late tonight going into tomorrow morning. And it potentially could even re-intensify back into a tropical storm. Meanwhile, you'll notice these bands of showers kind of working their way in with the flow around Burl. That's what's going to be affecting us as we go on through the day today. System still is classified at tropically as a tropical depression right now, moving to the north only about two miles an hour, so very slow progress, but it is going to increase as we go through the day today. And wind speed is very minimal, only about 30, uh, 29, 30 miles an hour here with some higher gusts. This is what things look like as far as what we're tracking. Again, if it gets off the coast tonight, parallels the coast, could re-intensify to a tropical storm late tonight, tomorrow morning as it makes its way along the coast. Notice it is going to be kind of one-sided. You'll have the heavier convection down over the beaches and along the coastal section, so that will kind of minimize the wind impact. But yet also, we are going to be watching it working its way pretty much parallel right to the coast through tomorrow afternoon hours and then quickly accelerating on out into the ocean. This is the reason that it's being guided. This is part of the reason why it's had such a wild, strange journey. Remember, it developed here over the weekend, went down, came in across Florida, basically hit the brakes, and now it's doing a U-turn and coming back out over us. And a lot of it has to do with what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere here. You'll notice this trough that digs in captures it, and that's basically what tropical systems do. They look for a way for the trough to get a hold of it, and that delivers that heat from the tropics into the temperate and polar regions relatively quickly. Now, we've got a bit of a break in here for Thursday, as the jet stream does show, with a little upper-level ridge that does take hold. But notice our next trough digging in out here. That's what's going to be coming eastbound for us as we go into the weekend. And it does have some cooler air with it. It is going to be a much cooler air mass, less humid conditions with the uh, northwesterly winds eventually kicking in as we head on in through the weekend here. Again, it looks like the brunt of the cold is going to go up into the Great Lakes for the weekend, but we'll get a bit of a cool down for us here in eastern Carolina. So this is how things unfold with our future track here. Once this storm does finally get moving, how is it going to track? Where is it going to be tracking? Well, you can see this future track does develop it. Scattered storms around the area for the day today. Notice, again, the circulation around Burl, but not officially associated with it. It's going to be overnight tonight that we're going to start to get some of those heavier rain bands coming in here. Four, five, six o'clock tomorrow morning, and then you'll notice in earnest as we go over through the afternoon hours tomorrow, rain coming down heavy at times, 
Could be looking at four, five, six, seven inches of rainfall across Duplin, Onslow County, just to the northwest of where the actual center of the circulation tracks. It's a quick moving system because by early Thursday morning it is out of here, and then we see that upper level ridge kind of take hold with partly cloudy skies at worst ahead of that next storm that will be in here for late Friday going into Saturday with that neck trough digging in. So the biggest impacts for Earl, uh, Burl, excuse me, will be along the coastal sections. One to two foot water rises, wind gusts in excess of 35, 45 miles an hour along the coast tomorrow. The enhanced rip current threat, but all of us are going to see the enhanced threat of flooding. Again, the flood watch is in effect for tomorrow because of poor drainage areas for us here in eastern Carolina. So the planning forecast does show scattered storms around for the day today. Again, tomorrow, Burl is going to be our biggest impact. Cloudy, cool conditions, looking for temperatures that will remain into the low 80s. Then we clear things out. Sunshine in here on Thursday into the upper 80s. Next front comes our way. And notice by Sunday, we're talking about low 80s with very low humidity. So keep it tuned right here. We'll continue to keep you updated as we go on through the morning hours in the afternoon as we track Burl headed to our neighborhood. And again, it's going to be overnight tonight. It's when the heavier rain bands will start and then all day tomorrow. So we'll continue to keep you updated and alerted to the threats. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still.